Hi everybody, it's David, your Bayou Boy. So I've decided to start talking about things that occurred in my life throughout different things, especially with my time as a dispatcher. Now a lot of people know that for many years, probably about 15 years, I was a 911 dispatcher. Before that, I was a medic. But you know, things happened when you're a dispatcher, and weird shit happened every single solitary day. But there was one time, one caller, that would call absolutely every single solitary day. It didn't matter what time of the day it was, this crazy bitch would call every damn day. And she would call because an evil galactic warlord by the name of Zarkon the Destroyer would constantly harass her. And she was of the belief that only through calling the 911 service would humanity ever be safe from Zarkon the Destroyer. And so the dispatchers, we would take the call, we would deal with her, and, and we're going to call this lady Betsy, just for the hell of it, okay? So Betsy would call in, she'd call in once again, she'd be like, hey, I, I need you to come save me. There, There's this guy by the name of Zarkon, he's coming, he's going to kill us all, and if we don't do something about it, he's going to kill every single solitary one of us. And that shit just wasn't cool. So what we decided to do with Zarkon the Destroyer was we would send a rookie deputy to this call. And and these rookie deputies were just, you know, it, it was like a rite of passage for them. Everybody had to go deal with Betsy's call, right? So the officer would get there none founded, you know, basically we'd get out there, bitch would be calmed down by the time the evil galactic warlord had done left, and everything was freaking cool. So, what turned out was, this lady lived extremely close to a major highway. And if if you know anything about the highways, especially with some of us that are truckers out there, we decided that it would be a great idea to park my truck along the side of the highway as you went down an on-ramp. You know, you need to rest. And the, our area was pretty rural, so we didn't have the ability to just hang out at the on-ramp right or go to a truck stop and chill on a truck stop that that shit didn't exist i mean we, we are in bum fucked egypt where i'm at so what was happening was betsy had this old ass tv and you know we would call it a classic a true classic of a TV. We talk in your 1950s, leave it to be there, you know, Mary Tyler Moore rejected ass TV. So the deputies would get there, we would find out, you know, it was clear nothing was going on. Except one day, we had to send the lieutenant up there. And the lieutenant, he was all out of fucks to give, okay? Totally out of fucks to give. He was not dealing with this crazy woman and her bullshit anymore. So, basically, what he did was he was looking for someone to take Betsy in. You know, like a mental health facility or, or something. And we were we were calling our county mental health and we were like, Hey, you know, Betsy's off her shit again. We need you to come do something. The lieutenant's about to shit a brick. If you don't do something, you know, he's probably going to pop a cap in her ass. And that's going to end the problem. Well, that really wasn't the issue. Turns to find out the more time that the lieutenant spent with her, the better off things were. 
And let me explain that to you. Because he heard some shit coming through that old motherfucking TV. And it comes to find out that these truckers who were just chilling you know, hanging out, they were tired, bullshit, you know, my life sucks or something like that going through the radio. They would literally call out, you know, to each other, chilling at the end of that on-ramp. And this crazy bitch's TV would catch the radio signal from these CBs on the radio. So literally, Zarkon the Destroyer was nothing more than these truckers that were stopped on the side of the highway just chilling at the end of the night. So basically, we figured out the only way to solve this problem was to pop a cap in Mary Tyler Moore's ass. Well, the TV anyway. It was getting close to Christmas time, and what we decided to do was the, the dispatchers together, which was my team, and a couple of the deputy sheriffs that we worked with, we went in together and we were like, look, I will go stand in line at the freaking Walmart on Black Friday in order to get Crazy Bitch a new TV so we ain't got to deal with Zarkon the Destroyer anymore because it's getting on my nerves. So that's exactly what I do. I look at the paper and I'm like, oh, cool. Walmart has got a nice TV decent, it's a flat panel TV, you know, somewhat modern, it'll work with the cable company, bet, okay, cool, I'm going to go pick it up. So, there I am in all my glory, I pick up the damn TV, I pay for it, life is great. So basically what we are doing in this case is literally, on the day that Christmas is occurring, the lieutenant, the sergeant, and a couple of other crazy people that I worked with took the TV up and basically lied to the bitch. Basically was like, okay, Betsy, the government is telling us that, you know, this TV is not going to work with your cable services anymore, so we need to get you this new TV right here. And the guys, you know, we know you're in a financial bind, so we, we went in together, we bought the TV. So she was all like, yes, yes, go ahead. You know, I got to have my stories. You know, I can't live without my days of our lives or my world puking shit and all that, you know, just, just craptacular stuff. So we get to TV, but we tell the lady, as part of the government program, we got to take your old TV back in exchange. That's how we get the credit from the government. And so we take my Mary Tyler Moore's old ass TV and we replace it with this TV. The great part about this is, again, we're in a rural county, so shit's about to go down with this TV. We pull the TV out and we take this damn TV to the range. And I'm going to tell you what, I believe that at least a hundred rounds went into Mary Tyler Moore's old TV because we popped so many caps in that TV there was nothing left of that TV. A couple of weeks later we get a letter in the mail and the Sheriff walks in and he's reading this letter and it's from Betsy and her crazy booty. And she was calling, writing our sheriff to let us know that we finally destroyed Zarkon the Destroyer. Mainly because the TV with that crazy woman was already gone and was in a million pieces at the end of the range. We finally put Mary Tyler Moore and her old ass TV out of its misery. If you enjoyed the story of Betsy and her crazy TV, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like. 
follow if you want to. Would really appreciate it. Thank you very much for being a part of the Bayou family. I'm going to call this instead of stories from the bayou, but stories of the bayou. Why? Because I'm your bayou boy, David. Thank you so much for the opportunity to entertain you tonight. I hope you sincerely enjoyed it.